Good afternoon. We are with Mr. Bambouche from Wani at uh, Hall's Handwork on the first day in Nuremberg. How are you? Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations uh, on congrats on welcoming Mindshare. Please, please tell us briefly about this uh, uh, the, 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 this venture and the idea behind. You know, uh, digitalization is uh, very, very important for the Viney Group and uh, like you also know, we developed already a lot of software, apps and services uh, based on uh, digital information. And nowadays it's important also to have the right platform to share uh, these digital uh, data. Data security uh, is uh, an important issue here and uh, as uh, Mindsphere here is a perfect uh, partner for us to uh, be even better and use it as a common platform here to combine all our uh, digital services and softwares under a new, um, let's say, digital base to collect all these data and to make it available globally uh, and this is the key advantage to do that uh, together with uh, Mindsphere. So we are quite happy to have this uh, cooperation uh, here and also a lot uh, or many key players not only in the wood industry already use that uh, platform. So. We are really proud to have uh, partners really out of all different industries what shows also the importance and uh, also the value or let's say the level of uh, Mindsphere. So this is a perfect platform for the Viney crew. Great to know. As we can see the whole time work, the first day is really, really busy. Every, everyone is really happy about it. How, how do you look at uh, this show for to promote the digitalization? Digitalization is the main topic. So if you enter the hall, you see everywhere uh, uh, digitalization is number one uh, topic here. So our industry is changing. You know, it's a mm -hmm. uh, it's a next uh, revolution in in the market. And the show always is the perfect platform for that. And like you can see, we have two special uh, towers here. One on the uh, solid wood side, where we focus on digitalization. We, in addition, have a lot of simulation uh, here. And also we show the same on the wholesale side. And necessary or important uh, for the customer is not only the digitalization but important is what is the customer's benefit out of the digitalization and we show a lot of examples here on the show for the customers small customers and bigger uh, customers that they can use directly uh, to increase their efficiency great uh, we, we understand we, we uh, know that you are Exhibiting Unimat 217 in this show. Like, yeah. can, you, can you tell me some main features of it? Uh, this is the, our new uh, Uniline uh, machine, mm -hmm. the first uh, machine we showed here in Europe. We already showed uh, a different type, also a Unimat on our house fair uh, in Yanta in China, but this is the first. Uh, standard or um, entry level machine here for the for the European uh, market. The platform of this uh, machine is uh, the PowerMart 700. So the idea is uh, to use a new platform for our order entry uh, machine for customers that uh, do not have the space the specialties or that do not need uh, the high efficiency of a power mart but also use some of the benefits out of this uh, product uh, range this is this was the idea uh, behind that we are very proud to show this uh, machine with a very attractive price here uh, as one of the uh, key highlights 
in the whole tank bed. Great. Uh, as you have few new machines with uh, the new uh, Wynick machine control, tell us about this control. How, how really it is user friendly and the users can control the machines with this? Wynick machine control uh, is our kind of, uh, is the Wynick type of uh, machine control and important is for our customers, especially if uh, our customers have machines out of different product groups of the Weinig uh, uh, group. So everyone needs to feel home and common if he uses our machines. And with Weinig machine control it's, it's easy uh, to uh, program the machines, it's easy to, to use the machines and we use that on all our machines uh, meanwhile. So this is the customer benefit because the, the basic um, uh, programming or functional um, the, bas the, the basic information are, are always the same here on every machine. And this is the key reason behind it. You can see it nearly on every machine here on, on the show. Great. As you know, after this show, we'll be starting preparation for Zilexpo in Italy. Yeah. Tell me more about your Italian market and what's your plan in Zilexpo, what we expect to see new. The Italian market uh, recovered in the last uh, two to three years for us, so we are quite uh, positive uh, there. We are sol selling a lot of systems on the solid wood side, but also more and more panel processing uh, machines and systems and uh, for us the Italian market is extremely interesting because a lot of our uh, competitors are there and we are really proud that we were able to increase our market share uh, there. So for us the Xil Expo is beside the whole Sandwerk and beside uh, the Atlanta show, the top show in Europe and we will uh, come up with a bigger booth, with a lot of uh, news, also with uh, Vinic 4.0 digitalization. So we are all very excited uh, regarding that show and we expect a really good show and also a good result. Great. My last question, what would be your new market to expand your brand? Are you identifying any new market? We are already present in nearly all kind of uh, markets. Uh, we True. have to realize that markets are changing. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, digitalization is increasing, automation is uh, changing. So we have a lot of uh, ideas for for the future. Uh, I just returned from a trip from uh, China, and uh, also the flexibility or the expectations on the flexibility on the systems are definitely increasing there. So we see a good potential, especially in Asia. North America uh, is strong for us, but we also start looking for different areas like Africa. So uh, we started selling uh, products also very successfully to, uh, to Africa. So a lot of opportunities. We have a growing uh, market and we think we are well prepared so far. What about South America or Turkey for example or Russia? South America uh, is uh, a difficult market so Brazil uh, is uh, not so strong at the moment so the economy, economy is quite low uh, therefore Argentina and Chile are a little bit uh, recovering so that looks uh, uh, better, but South America is, uh, I think, difficult for for our industry uh, anyway. We have some bigger projects, but it's a difficult uh, market. Turkey for us, uh, historically, is very strong, so uh, we are quite uh, positive in uh, Turkey. We had a very good result last year. Also this year we definitely see a good potential there. So Turkey is good for us, fits very well to our uh, philosophy and uh, products.
Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very see much. See you in the next point in a couple of yeah, months. Yeah, see you. Thank you.